Bangkok is a very fun city with a lot of things to do, but today I want to talk about a gold bot that I purchased and had made into an amulet. On my most recent trip to Bangkok, I wanted to buy a Thai bot of gold. Now, when most people think of the word bot or words Thai bot, they think of the money or the actual currency. However, a bot is also a measurement of gold. Pure gold is known as 24K or 24 karat. Now, 24 karat is sometimes used in jewelry. However, it is most common in coins and bullion. A bot of gold is 96.5% gold or slightly over 23K or 23 karat. One bot of gold weighs 15.244 grams and is 14.71 grams of actual gold. So the gold content is slightly less than a half troy ounce of gold. Now Bangkok is an international city so gold can be found in the most common carats, such as 14 karat, 18, 24, 23, and even 24. Whereas on the other hand, in the US, most gold seems to be either 14 or 18 carats. Yes, you can find other carats ranging from 10 to 24 karat. However, to me, the gold bot purity of 96.5% seemed really unique. So I decided to buy a bot of gold. Gold is special in that it is a commodity that basically has the same spot price throughout the world. I have heard that it is possible to buy gold at under spot in places like Colombia, but I have no idea if that is true and I also have heard that it can be very dangerous. Anyway, most gold brokers or stores sell gold at the spot price plus a small commission. However, in Bangkok, the commission on gold is very low. Now, I'm just talking about gold for investment. With jewelry, they also charge for labor or for the design of the pendant, ring, necklace, whatever. Anyways, back to the commission. In Bangkok, I found the commission to be anywhere from 100 baht to 700 baht over the spot price. And that was with absolutely no negotiation, just going from different stores and asking. So that is from around $3 to $22, at least at the time that I went. I am not an investor in gold, but from my limited experience with buying gold in the US, the commission in Thailand is only a fraction of what they charge in the US. Plus what I found in the United States when the price of gold drops for a period of time, or if the, just if the price of gold drops, the brokers will either not sell the gold, take the gold off the shelves, or they'll charge a huge commission to make up for the drop in price as they do not want to take a loss. The bot of gold that I bought had a commission of 250 baht, or slightly less than $8 USD. Now I tried and tried and tried to negotiate on the commission, but they would not budge. A lot of the other jewelry shops in the area seem to have either used bot pieces or designs that I really didn't want. I bought my bot from a company called Aurora, which I believe is also the actual manufacturer so they had dozens of the same design that I wanted. So I looked at several of them to find the single piece.
that I wanted. I think this got the sales lady a little mad, but I also don't think she understood that I wanted a piece with no scratches or imperfections as I was going to have it made into an amulet. What I liked about the bot was that it had Fu Lu Shu on the back of it. I see these three guys everywhere throughout the places that I've been in Asia. I truly don't know exactly what they stand for other than they enhance good fortune, prosperity, and health. I've also been told that they are the three stars of prosperity, wealth, status, and longevity. Now they are supposed to be gods, but not gods like we think of gods in the West. They are more of a way of thinking, a thought process, or a mindset. However, what is key is that a person should strive for all three of the elements as striving for just one or two of the elements could bring one bad luck. After I bought the bot, I went to this awesome jewelry store which had a workstation right out front where four to five people would make amulets right in front of the customers. As you can see, the process that is used to make an amulet is fascinating. Generally, I believe most people have amulets made of spiritual pieces like the Buddha. However, the guy that made my amulet still seemed to put a lot of care and effort into the work. The entire process took about 30 to 45 minutes and only cost 300 baht or nine US dollars and some change. I was very satisfied with the craftsmanship. Yes, it is handmade but it almost looks like it's made to perfection. I assume the larger the amulet or the more plastic that is used or the more complex the design, the more the labor will cost. Anyways, that is my story of buying a gold bot in Bangkok. Thanks for watching, take care and have a great day.